mother. There's nothing to be done. The magic that kept her alive. I knew you would come. Don't move, Mother. We'll find a way to... Shh. Don't fret, darling. That man would have kept me trapped in here. But now, I'm free. I get to see Bethany again. And your father. But you'll be here alone. Say hello to them for me. My little girl has become so strong. I love you. You've always made me so proud. Did you find her? I'm sorry, Uncle. She's gone. You were right about the flowers and everything. I... I can't believe she's gone. I was too late. So you're to blame. If you'd been quicker or stronger, you could have... She could be... <laughs> Why her? Why Leandra? The killer used Mother to magically reconstruct his dead wife. They had the same... face. What sort of nightmarish magic is that? Oh, Maker! Maybe the Templars are right. Lock the mages up. Throw away the key. Do you want them to lock me up too, Uncle? I... I don't know. You would have been better off if you were just normal, like Carver. Magic's always run in this family. It's a curse. Now even your mother's fallen victim to it. I wish you'd never told me what that twisted son of a bitch did to her. I wish I hadn't asked. I hope you killed him. Good. I hope it hurt. Carver needs to be told. I'll send a message to the Grey Wardens and hope it reaches him. Take care, my dear. I don't know what to say, but I am here. Just say something. Anything. Uh, they say death is only a journey. Does that help? I suppose they say you go back to the Maker when you die. I've heard that too. To be honest, I don't think there is much point in filling these moments with empty talk. One of the few things Orana owns. I could have left the amulet in there and forgotten all about it. What would the witch have done then? Crude drawings in the margins. <sighs> Isabella, grow up. I wonder where Varric is today. Telling stories about my exploits to anyone who will listen, most likely. I can't bring myself to change anything about Mother's room. 
always at your service, Miss Eyre. Your house is pretty. I'm sorry about your mama. I will miss her. Hawk, I don't care what else is going on. We haven't spoken about Leandra. How are you? My mother is dead. My heart's broken. I suppose I could say, at least you knew yours. But that seems more about me than you. I just have flashes of impossibly long hair. But my father... Would you like to hear one thing? You've never talked about him. My father trained me in all the skills he had been forced to give up. He spent everything to get me into Kaelin's service. Do you know what I remember? When he read to me, stupid things, dragons and heroes. He wouldn't turn a page until I reached over and took his hand. That big man made every step of the story my choice. I loved that. He died of the wasting in a Denerim ward. Those last weeks, I read to him. I had to take his hand to turn the pages, and I couldn't tell if he was too weak, or if it was the old game. He smiled at that, at his big girl. <gasps> I don't know why I'm telling you this. Drink? A glass for those we've lost. <sighs> All right, then. Benoit Dulac and Leandra Hawk. Don't let anyone tell you when to move on. Take their hand and say, my choice. That's all I have. I'll miss her too. I have something for you. Do you now? A shield? Oh. And born by the one true Sir Aveline. Lovely. Thank you. I'm sorry. I don't see where I went wrong. I have a shield. It belonged to Wesley. You seem to recognize its worth as you pass it around. 
Are you suggesting that I give it up entirely? Pawn it away and be done with it? You're taking this a bit seriously. If you didn't think this would upset me, what was your intent? It's not enough to want you to be happy. Happy is for fools. Okay, it's not the shield, is it? No, and it's not Wesley. You've got me doing a lot of things. Some I don't agree with. Some I'm surprised I do. I'm not sure where I'm going as it is. Replacing what I was with this... I mean, who is Sarah Aveline to me? It seems odd you don't feel a kinship. You don't feel the name fits you. I didn't choose my name. Aveline was a wish my father made. I am similar to what he pictured. But that's because of what I try to be, not what I assume I should. Sarah Aveline was a fine figure, but I don't revere failure, however glorious. You know, not every gift has the significance of finely crafted copper marigolds. So it's just a shield. Just a shield? You have very bad taste. Every Smith and Orlay stamps Sarah Aveline's name on their exports. But thank you for the thought. I'm so sorry about your mother, Hawk. I think I need a bath. Yes. Is it like you thought? It's nice, isn't it? He seems nice. Yes, he's very nice. I know, and you're so cute when you're with him. Not like normal you at all. Haven't you got something unholy to do? No, we're following Hawk. That's important too. And then Hawk tore the door clean off its hinges, walked into the room, and... <clears throat> I guess we'll finish this later. Have you got a minute, Varric? For you, I have all the time in the world. Actually, I've been meaning to talk to you. People say you and that uh, elf, you know, the angsty uh, Tevinter one, are becoming quite the item. So, what's going on, Hawk? Well, well, well. I never thought you were the type, Varric. I'm flattered. It's the chest hair, isn't it? Women can never resist my chest hair. Unfortunately, it's not to be. I'm spoken for. Uh, Bianca stands in my way again, does she? What can I say? She's the jealous type. Listen, as your friend, I feel like I'd be doing you a disservice if I didn't say something. You do know the elf is covered in spikes, like an angsty porcupine. He might have some... issues. I know you mean well, Varric. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. I certainly hope so. You want a pint while we're here, Hawk? The Dread Wolf! Why is my house always such a mess when people are here? It's clean sometimes, I swear.
I can't go on like this. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Do you have a coin to spare, Messa? My children are starving. I hope this helps. Thank you. Make a smile on you. What do you believe, Mel? Our gods abandoned us long ago. They haven't answered our prayers since the fall of Arlathan. When we've proven that we're elves again, that we didn't lose everything, they'll come back to us. We say the same of the Maker. Perhaps they're only different names for the same divine force that created the world. The Maker wants you to be elves? I'm afraid the matter can't be handled by guards, This is beyond even Aveline's power, I'm sorry to say. Are you sure? Have you seen her hit people? I can hear every word you're saying. Andra, dead. Miss me? Sarah Hawk, it is good to see you. The shame that Varnell brought his order is most unfortunate. The shame he brought? Praise the Maker that you were his champion in that dark place. Look, we're both adults here. Can we drop the pretense? I think you'll find that I have said nothing threatening or untruthful. You in your careful language. I gave you what you wanted at considerable cost. Vonell is more manageable as a martyr, but his loss will be felt. You have avenged heretical Kunari with human blood. Surely that is good enough for you. You're no more satisfied than I am. Vonell was a fool. But the facts remain. An offense to the Maker goes unchallenged. 
I will give you no further cause to shame the Chantry today, but we will have this argument again. The Viscount's incompetence all but guarantees it. Sometimes you just know trouble is coming. Doesn't just being here bring peace to your soul? Is something troubling you? Goodbye. Walk in the middle. What does it do? Mostly it stands in my house, looking a bit spooky. But it's magic, right? So it can do magic things? Is it dangerous? It could fall on someone, but you'd have to push it really hard. It's quite heavy. Meryl, is it a danger to the people of Kirkwall or not? Oh, only to anyone sitting right under it. Thank you.